In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, authentication uh, for uh, Elastic Stack and how you can perform it. Uh, there is a, a pack or a package from Elastic X Pack. So uh, this X Pack uh, is an extension from Elastic Stack. Uh, which provides uh, some uh, security, alerting, monitoring, reporting, and so on, machine learning, and more. And by default, uh, it's installed with Elasticsearch, but is not enabled by default. And for example, some of these features are free, and for some of them, you actually need to have a license. Uh, for the free ones, you have a basic license, or uh, if you want the enterprise version, uh, you can go for a trial at first to test it out, to test the functionality and so on. And then you will actually have to request for a license. So in the basic license, uh, you also have the um, uh, security features regarding the authentication. Let me show you first my Kibana to see how it looks like. And Right now I'm logging to my Kibana and as you can see there is no authentication, nobody is asking me for any kind of username or password or anything, nothing, yeah? So everything is just open. First we will need to enable the XPAC security. To do this we will need to go to the CLI on our server here. So I'm gonna just gonna go to nano. Etsy, Elastic, Search, Elastic, Search, YAML, hit enter, and I will put it down below here. I Let's just call it XPAC, um, and by the way, if we are going to the, to the documentation, over here we can see that uh, we will need to put this one to true. So XPAC security enabled. So let me copy this and I will put it into uh, the configuration file for Elasticsearch. So I'm just going to drop this one in here, save it and then uh, restart the Elasticsearch service. Okay, let's just give it a moment. Let's check the status of Elasticsearch. Okay, everything is fine. The next step would actually be to create passwords for the built-in users because there are some built-in users and we will just have to set up uh, uh, the passwords for them. If I'm gonna go here to this tab, um, there is a little bit of documentation on this web page about the built-in users. You have an uh, Elastic user, which is like a super user, as you can see here. And there is, uh, there is one for Kibana and you're going to use this user and password when you want your Kibana to communicate with uh, Elasticsearch. And there are a few more like Logstash system, Bit systems. A AMP system, APM systems, uh, remote monitoring user. These ones, you don't actually really need to configure them uh, into Logstash or uh, somewhere else unless you have uh, the monitoring enabled for those tools. So you can actually send some kind of information to Elasticsearch. So unless you don't have, uh, unless you don't have those uh, monitoring features uh, enabled, there is no need for you to uh, struggle with them. In this video, uh, because I would like to keep it simple, I'm just going to focus on uh, these two. And right now we will need to, to, to create uh, the users. Uh, one more word before we are going there. Uh, these built-in users, uh, they are stored in a, a index. Um, Elastic, they are telling you that it's some kind of security index. But for example, if you 
we're going to uh, delete your security index uh, and then uh, restore it from another snapshot or something like that, uh, you're going to lose your changes. So you'll have to create the passwords again or recreate them. And uh, for example, th there are two options. You can uh, uh, set up these uh, passwords uh, interactively uh, with uh, your input uh, regarding the passwords, or for example, you can do it automatically. And in our case, because it's a demo environment, uh, we will gonna do everything automatically. Uh, so we will not gonna lose uh, too much time, yeah? So let me go to the CLI. Now we will gonna go to, um, user share elastic search and uh, we will go to bin folder and we here we have a bunch of scripts and we will gonna focus on this one right here uh, elastic search setup passwords we will do it uh, in the following way elastic search setup passwords and then we can do auto so you have two options, you can go automatically or uh, interactive. So I'm just going to go for automatic ones. Right now the passwords for the built-in users will going to be automatically created. And right now it will going to ask us to agree with the fact that these passwords will be randomly generated and they will not going to be chosen by, by us. So we will going to go with uh, Y here and these passwords uh, are presented to us in this form. I'm just gonna take these passwords and put them in a notepad file. Yeah, we were gonna have it right here. And right now what we will gonna do, we will have to actually configure the Kibana YAML file. Nano Etsy and then Kibana, Kibana not yaml and we will look for uh what we will gonna look for elastic username and password so let's just look for the user yeah this is the user kibana i'm gonna search into the text okay Maybe it's a little bit down below. Uh -huh, okay, so it's right here, elasticsearch.username and elasticsearch.password. Uh, the user, we already have it. And we will just uh, copy this password. And we will paste it in the, this text file. Right now we will save it and exit the file then we will have to restart kibana okay let's check for the status and everything is running fine right now we will have to go for the web interface and in our case we will simply refresh it and we should get prompted for a username and password. Now, because uh, we haven't actually created a username or password for this one, there is a built-in one. Uh, if you remember uh, when we talked um, a little bit earlier about the Elastic Super User. So in this uh, notepad file, we also have the password for the Elastic User, which is like, uh, the super user one so we were gonna put here elastic and in here we will put the password and we should automatically uh, log in without uh, too much trouble right now because uh, there is no other user except the elastic one that can access uh, kibana via the web interface uh, we can actually create one so you will need to go to management and over here there is a new section which appeared after we enabled the expect monitoring uh, sorry the expect uh, feature from um, uh, elastic and we have um, 
roles and these are the default roles and we also have uh, users so let's just gonna go to users uh, we already have uh, uh, the built-in users that we talked about it and we were gonna create another one let's just call this one let's call it admin password put something for the password in here right now we will have to confirm the password again uh, put some full name I don't know just admin and then a mail address admin at bitsbyteheart.local anything you'd like let's just give it some roles let's let's give um, uh, some admin roles uh, like Kibana admin and then for example events admin uh, roll up admin uh, what, what else we can give here um, let's look for something else let's do Kibana user let's do Kibana system yeah. and right now we will just hit on create uh, this is actually the uh, new version on how you can create a user there was um, where there is actually another method that you can do it via the REST API but it makes no sense to show you the REST API uh, user creation since uh, this one is so easily to, to, to be uh, handled we will just open a, a new window in a new browser let's go for uh, edge why not and here we will just simply paste the ip address and the port and we should get prompted for authentication and we will use admin and then the password for this user and try to log in Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you guys in the next one.